In this lesson, we will learn about the graph editor. So far, we've edited keyframes using the time slider and the dope sheet. But what's happening between the keyframes? Well, the computer is interpolating between the keyframes, or in other words, filling in the blanks. We can see the result of interpolation when we play an animation, because the computer does it automatically. Interpolation isn't visible in the time slider or the dope sheet, but you can see it in the graph editor. Here we have an animation of an object dropping and hitting the ground. Now there are quite a few keyframes as you can see in the time slider, but let's examine this animation in the graph editor. Now we can see all of the keyframes and their interpolation, but it looks like a gigantic mess. Let's restrict our view to just a single part of the animation, the drop. Without all of these curves, there we go, that's much better. In the graph editor, we have the familiar frame numbers at the bottom, the various attribute names on the left, but what are the numbers in the middle? Well, this group of numbers actually corresponds to the value of the attributes. Now, clicking on the attribute's name just shows those keyframes, so let's focus on translate Y. We can edit a key's timing just by dragging it left or right, but we can also edit its stored value by moving it up and down. Now, be careful, though, because while you're editing the values, you might accidentally change what frame it's on or vice versa. Now that we know how to edit keyframes in the graph editor, let's bring back all those curves. These curves, called the function curves, or F curves, are a visual representation of the interpolation between the keyframes, and are color coded just like the axes. They are drawn by the computer based on the value, frame, and interpolation type of each keyframe. Now that we know how the graph editor works, we can learn how to read each F curve. Our object falls straight down, but in the graph editor, it looks like it's moving forward and down. Now, this is a very important thing to understand about the graph editor. The motion of the F curve in the graph editor is not a direct representation of the animation. Instead, it describes how the attribute changes over time. So in the case of our translate Y F curve, what the graph editor shows us is that our object is moving down in space and forward in time. 